Hot is dope, and I'm here with Rico Love. What up? Where we at right now? We in Baltimore. Honest tour. Honest tour. Future. Rico Love. We having a good time. Man. Give me, give me the rundown. What is it? TT. TTLO. What is that about? Turn the lights on. It's just like you know. Uh, it's something I came up with when I was writing, started writing songs. Mm -hmm. I came up with it in LA. I used to hang on this club called Area. They would play this Pink Floyd song. I'm a big fan of Pink Floyd. And um, they would say, hey, teacher, leave those kids alone. All the lights were going in the club. So I would just say, turn the lights on. So one day I was in the studio and I just started singing it on all of the records I was writing. And it just took on. Like, you know, I wrote the theme song for Sex in the City movie. So when you watch that movie, First thing you hear is Fergie saying, turn the lights on. Give me the, give me, give me the rundown, because a lot of people might say Rico Love is cocky. Rico Love is a singer, you know, they don't know. But give me the rundown of the of the resume, and it's pretty fucking deep. Yes, yeah, um, I wrote a lot of songs. I don't really like the, I do it a little medley in my um show where I did like a few records that I've written. Oh. But um, you know, we go back to uh, you know, boyfriend number two for Pleasure P, or uh -huh. Sweet Dreams Beyonce, Motivation Kelly, uh, 4 a.m. Melanie Fiona, Mr. Room, Mary J. Blige, Daddy's Home, Usher. Oh, how do you get connected Usher. to do this type of stuff, though? Like, do, do, because, you know, at first I, I, I was, Dream was on the rise, you know what I'm saying? But now it's like. Dream's still that dude, though. I know, but it's but like. But the you, thing you about it is, these guys really, it's, it's all timing, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. A lot of things that, um, you know, we all existed together. You know, Dream is dominating, I was on one side dominating, Sean was doing his thing, Esther Dean doing her thing. Mm -hmm. I don't really like to make it too much about Homeboy was doing it, now I'm doing it. It's like we we all coming up and really working, we was always working, and he would be killing this side and I would be killing this side. I was kind of focused on urban and doing a lot of black records and okay. they was doing a lot of the worldly stuff, and, which is cool, and it was, they was killing it. So um, I don't really like to look at it like that. Like, okay. oh, Dream used to be the nigga. Dream still the nigga. Still the nigga. You look at his resume, he did this motherfucking thing and still continues to do his thing. You listen to the radio, it's still Dream on the radio on that Jay-Z stuff that you're hearing. A lot of things you may not know that he's a part of. So um, it's one of those things where we just continue to work. I got signed as a rapper first by Usher. And the first song I ever wrote was a song called Throwback, which is on the Confessions album. And that's how I started writing records. And that's one of the, one of the top 10 greatest R&B albums yeah, yeah, man. of all time, at least, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, let's go back to the scene. They don't know. Mm -hmm. Then we got the EP. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about the success. It's, it's big. Yeah, it's a blessing, man. You know, I don't really like to... You said earlier a lot of people might say about, you know, somebody being cocky or whatever. I think what happens in this day and age, if people can't get next to you, if they don't really know much about you, they don't really get the time, if they don't get the time that they want with you, they call that cocky, they call that arrogant. But as when you get to know somebody, you understand how hard they work and how, you know, the work makes you humble, man. The humility is in the effort. And I feel like, um, I don't give everybody my time. I'm not with every rapper. You don't see me on Instagram with all the rappers and all the guys in the industry. Because I feel like it's important to stay with your people and do your thing. But I just feel like, um, how I got in the game was different because I wrote that song and then I started having a relationship because of Usher. So I owe my, I owe my career to Usher and like how he put me on and put me in the game. I just continued to work. I was in a position where a lot of people who came in the game with me was in and they just didn't hustle the way I hustled. You know what I mean? You see me on the studio, you see me on vacation. When you see a lot of guys get two or three hit records and they all in Central Pay and they all on the boats and they all living that life, which is cool, enjoy life. I would rather be in the studio getting so I can own my own. Like I own my record company, I own Division One. So the, the company I'm signed to is my company. I did a joint venture 50 50 deal with Interscope. And you know, I, I'm a businessman and I really control everything. I pay for my routing, I pay for everything you see out here. All the wardrobe ain't borrowed. When you see the videos, I pay for the video. When you see everything, it's real, it's me. And it's not to brag, it's to say that I'm an entrepreneur and I'm busting my ass so that what you see, what you hear, is very, is a uh, high quality. Let's get back to that. Let's get back to the fashion. Because I see it on Instagram, I see the vines, I see, I see the, the crib in your closet. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about how fashion plays a big role in your life. I feel like, man, you gotta, um, I really understand the art of it. Uh -huh. It's not so much about, a lot of the guys buy names and they buy brands just to be, you know, they, they like, they'll buy the whole mannequin. Me personally, I really study the art of it. I got relationships with a lot of guys. Me and Giuseppe are really close friends. And stuff. Dean and Dan are really good friends of mine. Um, for real. Like, not just, like, you know, I really have a relationship with these guys, and I really have a true relationship with Versace. You know, the, the boutique, I go see the full line and the spring line before it comes out. I go to see the D-squared and the stuff before it, it's out and it's available. The Philip Lim stuff is all available to me because I study and respect the art of it. And when I met those guys, they, you know, invited me. I hosted the grand opening in Italy with, with, with uh, Giuseppe. I hosted the grand opening of Atlanta store. 
artists that be like, these are guys who respect what I do and my passion I put in the music. They understand it's the same art that they put in the fashion and we made it marriage. Okay, last question. What's in the future? What's in the future? Music-wise, fashion-wise, artistry, yeah. artists, all of it. Um, my label division one is on the rise. Right now it's the hustle, man. You know, I was blessed enough to have Future invite me to be on this tour to be a support night and really believe and see something special in me. And I just want to bust my ass to really get out here and work and prove myself to the people. I'm finishing the album, turn the lights on. Um, I'm, I'm getting ready to drop the first single for the album. The bitches be like, it's going crazy. It's, uh, they don't know it's still heavy. Um, but we setting up the album. I got Tiara Thomas, who's my first artist, signed to the label. She's getting ready to roll out. She's getting ready to drop her single soon. We just been putting on the incubator, developing her, and she got an amazing body of work. But it's really about branding, marketing, and really spreading the message to the world, man. You gotta really, you gotta see my effort and really respect it. A lot of guys, a lot of millionaires ain't gonna get up on stage and do what I'm doing in front of the fans, and they don't really know the words to the songs, and you kind of feeding it to them and performing your ass off. A lot of guys, they feel they too rich for that. And I don't, I don't feel like there's no dollar amount on hustle and on effort, and we all gotta really respect each other and really respect the ground. The art is more important than anything, bro. All, none of this shit matter. Like, niggas always ask me about with the bread. It don't mean nothing, because when you get on stage, there's a girl sitting in the front row who's like, who the fuck is you? And you can't buy that love. You gotta earn it. You know, a, lot so of is, a lot of millionaires ain't gonna give me a dope, knowledgeable interview like that. But you gotta let me know what a bitch is. You told me it's a difference from a female and a bitch. So, what's the bitch? Yeah, what it is, is I feel like when we don't value things, when you require more from a man than you require yourself, when you out here partying and you at All-Star Weekend and you at Super Bowl Weekend, but your priorities are together, you don't got your own apartment, you don't got no way to live, and you'd rather save your money to take a trip for a weekend, that's a bitch. If you fucking with everybody based upon what they have, and instead of understanding who you are and loving yourself and learning how to love everybody else, that's a bitch. And women don't do that. Women don't operate like that. So when I say that, I, I believe in those same ideals that Tupac believed in. Tupac was the nigga who said, you wonder why they call you bitch. He was the one who made Dear Mama keep your head up and all those records. And people respected it. And he was the same nigga with no shirt on walking with a Hennessy bottle too. And talking, and talking that shit. You gotta respect it from this spectrum from a nigga like me. Because I'm a nigga who wear diamond chain, who drive a, a fly car, who got a fly house. I ain't no Koofy wearing backpack. So when I'm talking to you, I'm talking from inside of the party, not outside. You gotta respect it coming from me. So when I say bitch and woman, it's two different things. Who else you gonna respect it for? Not the nigga who performing in front of all white crowds. Not the backpack nigga who records play on rhythm radio. You gotta respect it from a nigga who live in the culture, who part of the culture. That's why everything I say, nigga gotta connect to it. Nigga gotta feel it. Cause I'm one of y'all. And you can see it when you with me. I ain't, ain't no facade, a nigga ain't front. I don't, you don't feel like it's a nigga doing a bunch of, I don't got 200 niggas around here to validate me. I'm who I am. And if you can't respect that and see that, then the issue ain't with me. The issue is something totally different with you. So when I say bitch, I want niggas and women to understand it ain't got nothing to do with a woman. It ain't degraded into a woman. It's degraded into a bitch, but she degrade herself anyway. Most of all, I'm here with Rico Love. Just give y'all a knowledgeable interview by the man, the genius. Love. Money district behind the lens. We out.